Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today we're gonna do some uh, car battery maintenance. As you can see, did an air filter on this car not too long ago and noticed that the battery has quite, quite a bit of corrosion around here. The uh, terminals are could use some maintenance. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys, just a couple things you can check here. I have a digital uh, voltmeter. It, uh, it reads um, alternating current, direct current, so one thing you can check with it is the state of charge. So we can check the state of charge of this battery. Go ahead and take the red lead right there. Go to the negative. Battery is at 12.68. A good, a good charge for a battery is 12.6. Anything above 12.6. This is acid that's on top of the battery. So best practice is to wear clothes that you don't care about when you work on batteries because this acid will eat through your clothes. But one thing I wanted to show you is uh, you can have a, a, a surface charge on this battery, and I was showing the owner this, but plastic should not be conductive. So right here, I'm on plastic. You're not seeing very much, but when I hit this liquid, you're seeing a voltage of about 8.47. Depending on where I go on the battery, it's either higher or lower. Going back to the full voltage on the negative, 12.69. Eight point five one, eight point one two. So this is basically a direct, sh not a direct short, but it is a discharge on your battery, because you have this battery cold down clamp right here. As you can see, no, I'm not getting very good. There's paint on it. So this this clamp is grounded. So this liquid, as it gets closer and closer to the metal, is actually just going to make a a, dis a place for the, the voltage to discharge into the car. So we need to clean this up. We need to clean up the, the uh, battery terminal posts as well. Uh, to do this, we will actually pull the battery and then clean it up um, on the ground. One thing to note, if you guys didn't want to remove the battery, you can actually cheat by getting some uh, Coke. Make sure it's diet though, because it won't make it sticky. But if you're in a rush, you could actually just pour Coke on this battery and wash it off with water. That is a, that is a trick I've seen people do. Now this is just a good thing to practice when you're moving a battery, installing a battery. You always want to make sure that you take the uh, negative battery post terminal off first, and then when you're installing it, put it on last. So first off, last on. If you put the negative battery terminal on first, and then you put the positive one on, you could risk getting a spark in batteries off gas, hydrogen, and I've never seen it happen, but I've heard of uh, explosions happening. So. It's always a good thing to do. Be careful when you take this battery clamp off. It is metal. You never want to stick anything metal between these two because it will fuse weld itself. Yeah, see, we, I heard a slight arc. Yeah. The there we go. So get these out of the way. Our battery has a handle. Got the battery out of the car. You can see all this corrosion, this acid up here. This battery is full of, is full of sulfuric acid. And what happens over time... Uh, just you have buildup and residue on here. Um, so obviously this is a acid. To uh, stop an acid from happening, you need a base. So we're actually gonna use um, baking soda and water. Mix it at a 50-50 level. So we've already gotten that mixed up. And uh, guys go here. Got, you can use a bigger uh, brush if you want. We're just going around using an old toothbrush. I don't know if you guys can hear, but you can actually hear the uh, hear the baking soda eat the acid. Try not to get this on your hands or your clothes. This is neutralizing the acid as we go. Now, if you really wanted to cr get crazy, you could actually pop these tops off, and this actually is a, a port down into each individual cell. There's six cells inside this battery two volts each which makes it a 12 volt battery and if these are if these are low um, when you look down there you can actually add distilled water to bring up to bring it up to the correct level after we get done doing this we'll put some water on top of it wash all this stuff off just be careful when you guys do this if you guys are doing it in your garage this acid will leave a stain on concrete that's why we have it over in the dirt on top of a bag all right put some of that water on 
See how much better that looks? Seem, seems to be the worst around the posts. So the baking soda mixture that we have in here is 50-50 of water and baking soda. Just applying it to the to the battery. All right, bring some more water in. If you get acid on yourself while you're doing this and it starts to hurt your skin, get some uh, get some baking soda and just apply that baking soda directly to your skin. It'll neutralize the acid. The next thing you want to do is we're going to take care of these posts. As you can see, these posts have some corrosion and some oxidation on them. We need to clean these up. We have this tool right here. This is actually a battery post tool. So you use the inside here and you move it up and down like this. And it gets that battery post nice and clean. Now on the inside right here, you have this Christmas, this metal Christmas tree is what I like to call them. And this is used for um, getting the corrosion off the battery post on the battery cable. So you can actually work this on the inside of the ringlet to get that nice and clean as well. As I'm turning it, I'm working up and down as well to get the whole length of the battery post. Now pull out the Christmas tree. Work the top. On some Honda and Acura applications, the positive battery terminal uh, is actually smaller than what the ringlet is on the cable. So they sell what they call a battery post shim. And you actually put that on top and then you put the battery cable on top of that. And it basically makes the battery post just a little bit wider so that the uh, you're actually able to get the the, uh, the cable, the ringlet to actually secure onto the post. I'll put a picture of that up right now. So next we'll do is put a little bit more water on. Just wipe down the sides. There's some acid down there we can see. Just clean it up as well as possible. You should be wearing safety goggles when you do this, safety glasses, and clothes you really don't care about. Like that ugly sweater you got from your grandma last Christmas or something. While we're here, we're gonna check for a surface charge again. Put the positive lead to the positive terminal. Nothing. Just a little bit, which is acceptable. It's probably because of the water. But we're not seeing any of the high readings like we were before we cleaned the battery. I just saw it jump up. There you go, 7.35. So there might be some acid under this sticker still. 6 6.56. So if you didn't care about the sticker, you'd actually pull it off. Try it again with the sticker gone. We're good to go. So that's how you clean the acid off of battery, get the battery post good. We'll go back to the vehicle, put, put it back in place. So here, the battery cable, the battery cable terminal. It's also a little bit corroded. So like I said, we're gonna take the metal Christmas tree. Turn it. Clean both the negative and the positive cables. It's also a good idea if you have corrosion on your battery tray, if you can, take that out, wash that off, do the same thing that we did on the battery, 50-50 water and baking soda, clean that up. I've also seen them so bad where I actually had to pull one out and spray paint it black. Clean up the terminals as well as possible. And I just got stabbed with the metal tree, so if you want, wear some gloves. Auto parts stores sell a... Uh, I don't want to say a kit, but it's a spray. It's a coating that you can actually put on the terminals, which is supposed to stop oxygen from getting to, to them. So you don't experience corrosion, but they really don't work. You can put them on there if you, it makes you feel better, but they really don't do anything. The owner just told me that this car actually had it. And as you could see, it didn't stop corrosion from happening. So one could call that a gimmick that part stores use for you to spend more money there at the store. Also, another thing to note is if you have a car that has a stereo, 
it has a, a security code. When you remove the battery, you're going to have to reset that stereo for it to work again. So just make sure that you have that code on hand to get your stereo working again. So I have Budget Bob with me. We're just taking a little time. We figured uh, if you pull off this bracket, you don't want to put a dirty bracket right back on the battery and just continue to put more acid back on. So you're going to do the job, clean everything around it. Just doing a, doing a thorough job. If that's really bad, you can spray paint it. Like so he's taking the tray out. Right here you can see corrosion as well. So he's just working on the tray right now. As we're using the toothbrush, he noted that uh, wear goggles because this stuff can sprain your eyeball. Don't put your hand up to your eye. Yeah, you know what? My hands, which I should have gloves on, covered with acid. If I get something in my eye and I put my hand up there, then I'm just going to transfer battery acid to my eye. To I your, won't be seeing well for a while. To your naked opus, Bob? Yes, sir. Get her clean. And even if you want, if you guys have time, you can actually let this paint. let this dry and spray paint it black or yellow or orange or pink for our flamboyant friends. Doing the uh, hold down connecting rod. Clean the bottom of the battery tray here again. Get as much stuff as we can. Take a look at the, uh, you can see where it's eating the paint away in the silver section. We've got some rust, which is gold looking there, orange. On the back side, I don't know if there's a chemical reaction here. It almost looks like it was soldered on. It's burned into the <laughs> the metal so far. So that's <clears throat> most likely that's caused by the surface charge. All that uh, acid that was sitting on top. It was just a, a straight connection. So basically all the electricity was running through here from that liquid from here to ground. And that's that's what happened over time. It's a good idea to check this once a year. Take a good look at your battery and the condition of it. Another thing I like to do on a monthly basis is I actually have a NOCO Genius charger and I actually connect that on a monthly basis to my vehicles. This is a lead, this is a basically a wet battery, lead acid battery. One of the tie downs for the battery is actually longer so just make sure you get the, the correct one in the right place. If you replace a battery and you can't get these hold downs to tighten all the way up, you actually get a piece of wood and uh, put it between the hold down and the battery itself. Battery cables are clean. Put on the positive first, negative last, negative first one off, first last one on. <clears throat> Once the battery cables are tightened down, double check it, try to pull it up. This one's a little bit still loose. This might actually be a good uh, candidate for a battery post shim. If you get this all the way tight and it still is loose like this, you can buy them at O'Reilly, AutoZone. They're less than three bucks. Check it again. So yeah, it's still loose. Get a battery post shim for that. All right, let's fire it up. Make sure we're good to go. So there we go. Battery's nice and clean. Put this cap back into place. If you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.